I'm part of Good Game Studios since uh, February 2014, which is uh, a bit more than seven years already. And I started as uh, an analyst for shop, later on for monetization, for game analytics as well. And currently am the team lead for the data intelligence and analytics. The very first thing was an analysis about the different payment providers. So the methods users do basically payments with and to analyze basically what are the, the favorite yeah, service providers there for and give kind of some recommendations or optimization insights there or basically just prepare a first overview which hasn't been there beforehand. Well, that, that's a tough one. Since as an analyst, I really didn't work too much on, on the game itself. But since I'm responsible for also setting up tracking, that kind of tracking infrastructure is basically the most important thing for me. So also like a bit of the game server and how it's structured, where we also kind of query a bit of data from in order to get real-time data and yeah, just the, the current status of what users have in their economy. When I started, I was basically kind of independently working, I would say. As an analyst, you get quite dedicated and uh, explicit topics and tasks that you just work by yourself on it. And later on, with an increased area of responsibility, and just recently as a team lead, all of that involvement with other departments, different opinions and all of this. So managing to arrive at a good solution for all different parties, I think that's one of the most difficult things that I had in, this, uh, yeah, in that environment. As I don't know too many of them, but the one that I basically uh, still can remember is from that one Battle of Nations, what we had, where we uh, had this real forged sword as one of the big rewards. I think King Eric was one part of that kind of campaign that we had. So he reminds me of this, where we did quite some uh, extra efforts in terms of analysis and providing all of the, those data uh, from cross-server, basically, and therefore King Eric would be my choice here. The first step is most often the database to so looking what uh, what tracking there is. So obviously uh, there must be a request at the very beginning and having now more than seven years of experience, I know pretty well what do we track and what data we have about. So sometimes there are questions where I quite certainly know that we don't have any data about this, which means that Tracking has to be defined, new one, and then we start basically tracking those kind of information. And for all of the other topics where I know or where I can look them up in the database, there it basically starts. And then it's just like a communication with that stakeholder to yeah, fledge out the details which are requested. I think during the the last seven years that was, depending on which time frame I look at, a bit different here and there. But in general, I really liked a lot, or just still basically love us to go into the data tables, into the, the whole data warehouse there, and look through the various trackings that we have, because we have so much, even after seven years, I haven't looked into all of them. And yeah, just look what data is stored in there. And if you aggregate them, if you try to find out what this idea is about, what that idea is about, what that tracking is actually about it, because not everything is to the most detailed level documented. And then try to think about how could you use it. Is it somehow usable that we can generate some new insights? That's one of the main parts, or one of the main tasks that I really have uh, high feelings about. And the other thing is also about accuracy. 
That's a bit strange maybe, but in a lot of terms, when you work as an analyst with uh, big data, then you do aggregations, you have here and there some small edge cases. It's like 0.01%. So in most cases, you simply say, oh, that's okay. But I really enjoy to flesh out the, the SQLs, the aggregations, the joins, in the way that there are basically no edge cases left and everything goes just perfectly, basically. Those are like the, the two dominant things during the last seven years, I would say. As a data analyst, you really have to have some feelings for numbers. So you, you must like them. Sometimes people say that numbers are dancing for them. You're telling a story or so. I think it's kind of similar to me as well there, but you have to have that, that special relationship to numbers. Otherwise, you will not most, most certainly not be happy in that position. And yeah, I think that's it, basically. It's, it's all about numbers. In particular, if we not only talk about the broad ticket, uh, topic about data analytics and, and data there, but a bit more into that branch of specific like game analysis. I think also an interest in games and how a game as a microeconomy is also of uh, at least a very big help because here you have basically data that you, you know, that, that describe a whole economy that is influenced by some rules defined by design and you can analyze all of the impacts and whenever a feature goes live it has an impact on the economy you can look at where it impacted most what did it impact it you can have expectations you can derive them from the past and quite often it just is uh, surprising how the the final impact the result looks like but as you do this for quite some time you improve and you will really be able to Kind of forecast how the user behavior on certain things will be and that's cool that's at least very cool for me